What's up everybody? In this video is an educational purpose for all those smokers that want to switch to vaping. Uh, this is the choice for you all. So in this video is not suitable for under 18. Strictly not for underage. It's a vape review. So in this video today, I want to tell you all about the Caliber new device uh, by UWell. It's a Caliburn Cocoa Bar, it's a disposable device. So they sent me this intro box, uh, Caliburn Cocoa Bar S12K Puff, dual cost flagship Caliburn right here. Inside, they got multiple types of flavor. It writes uh, dual cost flagship and then 12K Puff, 12 ml. Dual 1.2 ohm coils, 800 mAh battery for the device. So basically, it's a 12, 12, 12, everything 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. 12K Puff, 12 ml, 1.2 ohm. And it's a dual coils. So for the first batch, uh, for this, the design actually is very nice. I'll show you all later. And for this Caliburn Cocoa Bar, they make it until like cyberpunk themes a little bit, even the device as well. So for the first batch, they got 10 types of flavor, oat flakes, vanilla custard, tobacco, plum, guava, lime, watermelon, pineapple, strawberry, apple, snow, pear, juice, mango, pudding, triple mango, watermelon, lychee, last but not least, mango. So this is the flavor profile. Uh, flavor profile like here, you all can see. Lah. They got plum, guava, lime. Lah. The It's written at the bottom right here. It looks like this. It's not a detachable device. Detachable means that you can pull out the battery separately together with the flavor. The pot cartridge, this one, they make it like almost like like detachable but it's not. Ah, the whole device is a disposable like this. You cannot take out the battery. At the back right here, it writes dual coil flagship. Watermelon, pineapple, strawberry. Got the flavor profile at the bottom right here. And then the design is like 2077 cyberpunk style. And then at the front is covered with the, I think it's a plastic, but they make it, they spray it like a aluminium. See, when you tap, 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 it doesn't feel kong, 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 kong. Uh, so it's a plastic, I think it's a plastic, the whole device is a PC plus PCTG. At the below right here, very special, this is the indicator screen. You can look through the chipboard, everything, and then got the OLED screen. Right here, uh, it's very simple to use this device. They got the child lock, child proof, child everything protection lah, uh, when it stays to the middle. So they got a B and then R right here. R is means that regular, B is boost mode. So whenever, when you switch to the right like this, Okay, right now you are currently using the regular mode. Switch to the regular mode, they straight give you the smaller airflow. So if you want to switch to the boost mode, you just switch to the left like this. It will give you the boost mode directly. And then if you want to turn off, just switch to the middle like this. The indicator doesn't indicate anything. So when you switch right here or switch right here, uh, there's a battery indicator and also the liquid indicator. See? battery and liquid indicator. So right now in this videos, I'm gonna pick few of the flavor. Maybe I'm gonna try this. What is this? Uh, watermelon, pineapple, strawberry. Let's just try few of the flavor. I just want to explain the flavor profile. Basically, for this Caliburn Cocoa Bar s 12 k Puff is from UWell company, but they supply it to Vape Empire. So basically for, uh, they still got give one lanyard. Lah. So this lanyard, quite big also. Lah. See, quite thick. This then, yeah. Okay, so continue back to the device. Basically, for VIP Empire, if they're taking all those devices from other company, uh, usually it's 12K path, 12ML. Okay, uh, but the ohm sometimes is 1 ohm, sometimes it's 1.2 ohm. Didn't care is a UWell or Geekbar, Geekvape or other like uh, iJoy or whatever or AXO. Recently, la, currently, recently, if the flavor that come into VIP Empire, or usually is 12K path. 12 ml. So the first flavor that I want to try is this watermelon pineapple strawberry. Uh, it's like a pina colada. Mixed fruit lah, okay. Boost mode. First, wait. Okay, watermelon taste is tastes like a watermelon bubble gum taste a little bit. And then if you want to talk about pineapple, a little bit, just a little bit pineapple. For this flavor is a cold juice are uh, cold cold profile okay and then for the strawberry a little bit strawberry okay uh, three flavor actually the three fruits you also can taste inside this disposable if you're trying to inhale and then exhale you inhale line flavor uh, you exhale flavor line line macam ini lah okay dia punya rasa the taste is like uh, tropical but it's not pina colada Okay, it's like a mixed fruit e juice la, and then it gives you the mean level is also not over uh, brain freeze level. The mean level, although it's cold, but it's not too brain freeze. Mm. 
chilling. Okay, now currently I'm using the boost mode. If I switch to the regular mode, hmm, it's tight. MTL, it straight give you MTL flavor, okay? Let's try some of the flavor that uh, I think is not cold lah. Uh, this one is a vanilla custard tobacco. Switch to the regular because it's a creamy e juice, okay? So take out the silicon at the top. Actually, for the device, is freaking nabu the chikyang. Very nice design lah. Okay, so far disposable, I see ah. Uh, this one ah, uh, it really looks like a pot mode. Uh, it looks like a pot device, okay? So let's just try and see. Ooh. Basically, for this flavor, it's kind of special. Vanilla custard tobacco. If you want to say creamy, actually vanilla custard, those taste is the creamy profile. But for this one, they rebrew, rebrand it again. I can tell you all that it's very special, this tobacco flavor. Okay, it's less sweet. Ah, less sweet compared to other VEM, V Empire, that they bring in other tobacco flavor. Some is kind of sweet, but for this one, less sweet. Really less sweet tobacco flavor. Vanilla custard, if you're talking about vanilla, sure got vanilla tobacco taste. If you're talking about custard, less sweet, less creamy. Uh, it's good, okay? For this device, you all can try, okay? If you all suka lah, uh, tobacco flavor ini macam punya, you all can try this one lah. And less sweet. Ah, no coal for this e juice, no coal. And then another one, they still got a lychee, mango, all this normal uh, profile. So I'm gonna pick the oat flakes uh, for this one. This blue color is an oat flake flavor. So oat flake flavor is not tobacco. So I'm gonna use it in boost mode uh, because, because, okay? Because it's because. Okay, let's, let's try, let's try. This one. It's a oat flavor, creamy a little bit, lemak lemak bagi lo orang. Okay, at least I can taste the creaminess of this oat flakes. Ah, uh, it doesn't taste like oat drips, the oat splash, but it's the, it, they got their own oat flavor. Definitely different. Okay, the oat flavor is not cold flavor. It's good. Okay, sweet for me actually is. Okay, the sweet level. Okay, manis ada. Okay, manis, the the sweetness together with the oat. Because oat usually uh, need a little bit of sweetness, okay? Only you can rasa the taste of the lemak lemak e juice. So they mix it together and then got the flakes. Uh, flakes. Hard to describe, but it's good, okay? For this flavor, it's good, okay? For, for this flavor, if I choose in between these three flavors, uh, the vanilla custard tobacco, the watermelon pineapple strawberry, I can use this oat flakes every day. Ah, uh, this blue color is also nice as well, okay? So, plum guava lime, let's just try, okay, the green color, plum guava lime. The green actually is very stunning as well, okay, it's like a Billie Eilish themes, like this, transparent green. Let's just try and see. Uh, this flavor, I will use it in boost mode because it's a fruity flavor, okay, let's just try. Uh, sorry, 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 okay, let's just try. Oh, wow. Plum Usually it's sour, okay? Sour. They still additional add on the guava and also lime, so you can taste a sweet, sour, sweet and sour flavor. Lah. It's like you're eating the sweet and sour chicken, sweet and sour fish together with the white rice. Ah, this, this type of flavor, okay? <laughs> no, no, lah, just kidding. Lah. I, you can get the sweet and sour flavor. Plum taste. Okay, plum, usually we don't directly eat the plum like this. It's... Like this, putang ni nasi optimum pride lah, okay? But if the flavor, if you mix it with a juice or drinks or device, uh, it is possible, it tastes great, okay? For the plum guava lime, it tastes like a, what we call lah? If Hokkien, we call it Ketla Suing Pui or Ambura Suing Pui, I don't know lah. If Cantonese at KL, they call it the Katsai Shin Mui. So far, usually plum. Ada orang makan juga, uh, terus makan. Tetapi dia sangat... Ooh, ha, macam ni lah, okay? Ha, tetapi banyak orang dia ambil untuk buatkan uh, minuman lah. Ha, macam, if for the Malay store, I'm not sure got or not lah. But for the Chinese store, I think it's got. Or maybe usually I lepak at mama, I don't know how to call. Uh, Kat zai xin mui. Almost like that lah. Plum guava lime lah. This taste lah, okay? Really one, it tastes like the ampura sui pui. Hmm, if Hokkien lah, ha. it really tastes like that. Really special, this flavor. Sweet and sour. Okay, so they still got mango pudding, triple melon. 
Uh, they didn't got the triple mango. Instead of the triple mango, they coming out with the triple pudding and they coming out with the triple melon. Uh, okay. So and then uh, oh they got just got the mango flavor. Okay, just mango flavor and then watermelon, lychee. Those is a normal base flavor. So I'm gonna try this quite special. For this purple one is the apple snow pear juice. Uh, apple mixed pear juice. So let's try um regular. Let's just try regular. Apple snow pear. Snow pear. Thirty percent of the apple only. From uh, uh, the way that I try is maybe when you exhale the time you can taste a little bit of apple, but when you inhale the time and exhale the time, it will give you fully snow pear flavor. The pear flavor very very quad uh, Okay, very very menarik. <sighs> Not bad eh, this flavor. This flavor cow eh. Less sweet, you know. Less sweet. It gives you really less sweet flavor, but the pear flavor really, really touching my tongue. Wow. This one really refreshing. Uh. This one really, really refreshing. So for the five flavor that I tried today, uh, tested, uh, okay, I'm also not sure. I, I quite hate it which one that I like actually because actually uh, if for these tobacco lovers, you also like this vanilla custard tobacco is because less sweet. And then for this one, it's a watermelon pineapple strawberry. It's like a tropical mixed fruit e juice. And then for this one, oat flake actually, I can lion it all day long, uh, every day, like uh, all day vape flavor. It's not cold e juice. And for this one, plum guava lime. Instead of going to the Chinese kopitiam, I can lion this all day also. Plum guava lime lah. Uh, it's sweet and sour flavor. Also good. And for this, uh, maybe I can choose this lah. This and also this one. Oat flakes and also apple snow pear. For the apple snow pear juice, this flavor is really, really. It gives you feels like you are at the Everest lah, okay? Like Mount Fuji like this. Cold a bit and then less sweet and then a pear flavor come into your mouth and then when you exhale, apple flavor like this. Ah, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so uh, they still got a lanyard but I'm not sure you'll get it or not. Maybe if you fast, you can get this lanyard. It's very, very nice. Okay, so far, I think that's all that I want to tell you about this Coco Caliban Caliban Coco Bar S12K Puff. i see you all at my next reviews again. Okay? My name is Adrian Lo. Arigatou. Kamsamila. Bye-bye.